Welcome to this week's Multiple Choice Monday, which this time is a synoptic question, meaning it doesn't really fit into one topic of A level. You have to have a good knowledge of several topics in order to get the right answer. The correct answer is C. Let's have a look at how we eliminate the other options and why C is the correct one. So we need to pick a statement that is true for both of these reactions. NH4 plus ammonium iron becoming ammonia and losing a hydrogen ion in the process and C2H4 which is ethene reacting with hydrogen to form the alkane C2H6. So let's look at the options in turn. A, a lone pair of electrons in the product. Well, this is true for ammonia because ammonia definitely has a lone pair, but there are never any lone pairs really on our standard carbon compounds, alkanes, alkenes, etc. So carbon does not really have lone pairs. It's always using its four electrons in bonding, apart from in graphite, which you're not going to see in a question like this. So A is not true because it's not true for the ethene and hydrogen reaction. A change in oxidation state. Well, this time, this is true for the second reaction. The reason it's true, definitely, a really quick way we can tell is because I have hydrogen, the element, which has an oxidation state of zero in the reactants, and then it becomes a compound, which means that hydrogen will have an oxidation state of plus one. So anytime I see an element on either side of a chemical reaction, I know some sort of redox is taking place. Something is changing its oxidation number. Uh, meanwhile, the carbon, if you're trying to work it out, the carbon would be minus two on this side uh, because we've got plus four for each of one, plus one for each hydrogen. And then therefore each carbon is going to be minus two. And on the other side, the carbon is now going to be minus three. So the carbon is being reduced by gaining hydrogen in this reaction. However, in the top reaction, we're not doing anything with hydrogen, the element. What we're doing is losing or transferring H plus. So what that means is that hydrogen is plus one in a compound, but it's still plus one over here and it's still plus one in ammonia. Nitrogen it's very easy to work out in ammonia is minus three oxidation state because the hydrogen is plus one and there are three of them. On the other side, there are four hydrogens, but the charge is plus one. And so actually my nitrogen is still minus three. So you can sit and work it out with oxidation states, but actually the most important thing to remember is that transfer of protons alone, so without electrons, is not redox. That is an acid-based reaction. The ammonium ion is acting like an acid and losing H+. So if you only see hydrogen ions moving from one place to another and they're not accompanied by some electrons like you see in a half equation, that is not redox. What about C? Bond angle, a decrease in bond angles. Well, this does happen in both of them, hence why this is the right answer. So ammonium, NH4+, plus, has four bonds and no lone pairs. So we would expect NH4+, plus to have a bond angle of 109.5 degrees. But in ammonia, we have this lone pair, which is adding a little bit extra repulsion, which means the bond angle is going to be reduced to 107. Meanwhile, with ethene, we've got a carbon-carbon double bond and two hydrogens, meaning we're going to have a 120 degree bond angle because there are three areas of electrons. Whereas in ethane, each of those carbons now has four bonds around it and giving us the standard tetrahedral angle of 109.5. So that is a reduction too. When we look at D, the reason D is incorrect is because, of course, there are no pi bonds in ammonia or ammonium. There are only pi bonds where you see double bonds and there's only double bonds in the second reaction. So the second 
reaction does have disappearance of a pi bond, but the first reaction does not. So, don't forget, if you haven't already joined, my free chemistry revision club, Cation Club. Uh, just go to my website and you'll be able to see where you can sign up there. Alternatively, you can just drop me a message. And also on my website, we've got practice exam style questions with videos going through them. And if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, there'll be new videos every week to help with your chemistry revision.